Hey guys, welcome back to the Remo build series about the SnowRunner editor. Today we are going to be having a look at setting up some simple missions. Basically, your introductory missions are going to be a task that you're going to have to find, activate, and then complete the task. I'm going to also try and squeeze in a truck repair and truck recovery too for anyone that, that wants to learn. I will get into more mission stuff later on, but uh, we'll stick to just this, just to keep the video down to a reasonable length. So the first thing we're going to do is, if you want to have a task or a mission, you need to have a cargo area. So I've set up a small farm that's going to have some food loading here. So the first thing I've done, I've added a zone, which you're going to just right click and you're going to go to add zone. So the first zone I've put in, I've labeled food loading right here. So all you're going to do is so you're going to have your name, and you're going to place it into the ID tag here, which this is going to be our auto loading zone. So the next thing you want to do, and I know a few people have had a bit of trouble with this, is the manual loading zone which is going to give the player an option to load the cargo themselves if they want so the trick with this is you're going to add a second zone i usually make it three by 13 or 14 which seems to fit on the uh, loading platform pretty easy so with this zone what you're going to want to do is you're going to move it under your platform then you're going to come down and you're going to go to the wall setting you're going to change that to true just going to lift up your zone up off the ground so the next part you're going to go to the number the height and I find usually 1.3 is pretty close to the top of most platforms and there you go now you have your manual zone set up to load on top of the platform so the next part of this is to go into your zone editor which is this button right here it looks like an envelope kind of and we're going to add cargo and activate our loading areas so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the food loading open it up and it's got a prop setting we're going to hit the plus just going to bring up what we can do with it so what we want to do is cargo loading now to set up our manual load what we're going to need is to copy the food underscore manual that we added to the manual zone and we're going to put it in the platform ID slot which is basically going to make it a slave of the auto zone but as a manual load so it takes all its information from this first cargo loading zone and you're going to add your cargo settings bring it down and what we're going to do is we're going to look for large crates and add those and then you can add how many you want in the loading area I'm gonna put 15 you can you can put as many as you want I've learned pretty quickly that you want to have a few extra because sometimes things happen and you don't want players to run out of cargo so just be mindful of that I usually put at least five or ten extra than the tasks call for just to be safe so now we've got that all added what we're going to do is we're going to save it we're going to close it now we're going to look at setting up our mission which is going to be to deliver food to the food mart so when you're setting up any task and specifically a task that has to be found you're going to need two zones you're going to need the first one to be the task giver zone and the second one is going to be the task unload zone to complete it so first things first we're going to right click we're going to go to add zone we're going to put it right in front of the food stores this is going to be the one that we're going to be able to find and activate the task so what we're going to name it is my mission underscore task so and we come over here we have the zone selected we're going to go to the id we're going to put that into the name so now the my mission underscore task is inputted into the program and we're going to use that for the task giver 
So the next thing, I'm not going to put them all in, but just to show you guys quickly, these are the settings for the icons that you see over a zone when you're in game. And where you go for these is page 133 to 137, I believe, it has these emblems. And there's ones that are 30, so we're going to co copy the 30. We're going to put it in the icon 30 by 30 slot. You got to make sure you put the right ones in the right slots or it doesn't work. The next slot is the 40. We're going to copy that one. We're just going to paste it into the 40 by 40 slot. Now this very bottom section name is going to be what the player sees when they look on their mini map and see this zone. So what we want to do is name it whatever our task is named. I'm going to call this one food mission. So we're going to take it, we're going to input it into there. So now we've got our task set up to input into the program and use or our, t our zone set up. So the next thing we need is an unload zone. So we're going to add another one. Just so you guys know, you can change the size of these just by inputting whatever number you guys want. Um, there's no real reason to have them any size other than that's what you want them to look like. So now we're going to do the unload zone. So we got to use our my mission underscore unload. We're going to copy that. We're going to place it in paste under the ID which is going to be up in the zone settings that's what we're going to look for after and you can put your icons and your mission unload in the name so we're going to shut that down so we have those two set up we're going to go into our zone settings which is this envelope again first thing you want to do after you've added new stuff is save it so that it's in the uh, it's saved in the program. Now we have contract settings or objective settings, sorry, and in that we have task settings and contracts. Contracts are the same as in game. They're the ones that have an employer. You don't have to find it. You just look in the list and use them. Today we're going to be doing a task, so. We're going to hit the plus sign. Oh, I hit the contracts. A plus sign on the tasks. Now, here is where we're going to input our name. So, we're going to go back and we had named our mission food mission. So, we're going to copy that. We're going to input it into the name. Hit enter. Now, you can see food mission. So, the next spot that we go is we have our UI description which is the first thing that the player is going to see when they find that task zone so just quickly I've thrown together quick can you get some food for us so you're going to take this and put it into your UI description and you're good so the next thing we want to look for there's rank which you can set a rank forcing the player to have a certain level before he completes this task. I don't really use that myself. The next sep section is reward description. So that's what we want to put in when the task is completed. So I've put thanks for getting that done so quickly. So we're just going to copy that and go to the zone editor and we'll put that in as the reward reading. So when the task is done, first thing they'll see recommendation is you can tell them to use a specific kind of truck for a certain task um, don't show reward pop-up would be if there was another task associated I believe and you just didn't want it to show the reward when it was finished this task and you wanted to wait till the next one so now we get to our stages which is where we're gonna actually set up what we want the mission to do. So we have a bunch of steps, or a bunch of different options, my apologies. We have actions, truck delivery, visit all zones, change truck, repair truck, 
seismograph settings, spawn cargo on stage active. Oh, and the, the living areas, which is the crafting. Sorry, I forgot what that was. That's new. I haven't really learned that yet. So you guys are going to have to wait on that one. So for a very simple task, we're going to use actions. We're going to hit that arrow. We're going to use the action pack settings. Zone to fill. So we're going to give ourselves a new zone to fill, which is basically a step for the task. So now we set up we're ready to input what we want the task to be. So we have the UI description for the task, which is going to be, we want to deliver two food grades. So this UI description here is what's going to be up in the top right corner of the screen while the player is completing the task. So the next thing we the truck needed is if you want to force them to use a specific vehicle, I don't use that at all really much, but uh, it's an option. The next thing we have is global zone ID, which is where we're going to tell the game to where the unload area is. So if we double click this, it's going to bring a drop down menu and we're going to look for our my mission underscore unload because this is going to be the unload spot. So we'll add that in. Now the game knows to look for that unload spot for this task. The next thing we want to do is to tell the game what we want the player to bring to complete the task. So we're going to go to cargo pack. This one we want food crate large. And we want two of them, or cargo crate large, sorry. We're going to two, enter. The model build settings, we don't need that, that's for bridge building and stuff. We can get into that on another video. So now essentially we have the unload area set up for that task. We have deliver two food crates, we have my missions unload with the level underscore video, that's the name of my map. That has to be before an unload area like that so it can reference which area it's in or which map it's on, sorry, it's more important when it gets to a region and you're using multiple maps. We have the cargo, cargo crate large, and we, we need two of them delivered to complete the task. So the next thing we need, when we're done with this stage, is to go down, we have model builds on stages, which is the one I usually use. Again, that's for building bridges and so on so it, it forces the model to show a build animation as you deliver cargo the next one's blocker objectives so if you want a task to be blocked by another task that's where you'd input the name of the task that's blocking this one rewards is something you have to put on every single one so you have experience and money are the two things that I typically give and all you want to do is type in the number so if you want the player to get 1500 experience points we'll put 15 and if you want them to have two thousand dollars worth of money for completing two thousand now this is another spot for a task is we have to tell where the task giving zone is which is down here at the bottom so same thing we click there we'll get a drop down menu and this is the one where we want level video underscore my missions task which is just gonna tell the game that this is the task zone and the other one is the unload zone so after that your mission's set up you get a nice simple deliver two food crates complete the mission you've put in the reward everything's done so now we're gonna save it we're going to close this down and we're going to spend a minute setting up a truck repair and recover task as well. And then if we have some time, if I haven't gone too long, I will have a look at them in game and I'll show you guys what they look like when they're being uh, driven on. So let's put a vehicle down on the map. It's going to, so we're going to go to add truck which gives us a vehicle and this conveniently is how you add a trailer or a truck either or what we do is we go over and we're going to pick which truck we want 
so it doesn't really matter which one will do the Kodiak for now so when we're doing a truck repair mission it's important that you go down and you're you have an ID so you have to tell the game which truck it wants to associate the mission with so we have to name this truck so typically how I do it is I have a truck one underscore task usually what I'll do is put the name of the truck so if it was a lodestar one underscore task and that way I know that I'm using that truck for a task so we're gonna take this and we're gonna input it into the trucks ID category the other thing you want to make sure especially with the repair is this is our damage so if it's really broken we want to put it to hundred percent damage we also can adjust the visual damage so if you want it to look really broken and then we adjust how much fuel it has so if you're doing a repair and recovery typically you want to make it really broken and out of fuel and that forces the player to do a little bit more work to complete the task so we've got our truck all set up we know it's truck one underscore task which we're going to add into the programming of the mission after and we know that the truck's damaged so we can click off that we're going to save it just because we added something to our map and we're going to open the zone editor again so this time we're going to go down we're going to do another task because we don't want this to be a contract so we're going to hit task settings and this is where we're going to name it so i've called it the save the truck so we're going to take that we're going to put it into our name of our task hit enter and now you can see our old mission there and now we have the save the truck so we do the same thing ui description I've written, can you fix the truck and bring it back for us? Copy. And we're going to paste it in there. And then the next part, we want to look for the reward. So we have reward description. Thanks for saving the truck. These you can, you can write quite a few words, but just be mindful that the more you write into these descriptions, the smaller the words get in game. So if you write a big paragraph, you're not really going to be able to see it too well because the letters get so small. So we've got our description, our reward. Now we've got to go down to our stages where we set up our mission. So this time, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to repair truck. So we'll hit plus on that. Now what it has is the truck UID, which is that name we gave the truck. That way the task knows to look at that truck model and activate it in the task so we're going to name we're going to put our truck one underscore task in the uid truck name is just what you're going to see so on the uh, map describing it so we'll put kodiak now the next list gives you a choice of when that player completes that part of the task do you want them to get the vehicle or trailers or reward detach make it disappear or just do nothing so in a vehicle pretty typical we're going to give them it to give it to them as a reward so we'll leave that on reward then description is just like the other one we're going to put fix the truck and that's just what they're going to see in the top right corner of their screen while they're completing the task. So now we've got the repair the truck part set up. We can close that down and now we're going to do truck delivery which means that we have to deliver it somewhere. I did forget one thing we'll have to go back out and we need an unload zone before we can finish this. So to set up the truck delivery we have to again tell them tell the game which truck to look for which is exactly the same so we're going to truck one underscore task in the uid and then we're going to put kodiak again as the name of the truck we're going to reward the truck when they complete this task and then the ui description for the task is deliver the truck 
Again, you can be more elaborate on these descriptions. I'm just keeping it simple just for the sake of the video. But you get the idea. It's good to have all this stuff written out. I use Google Docs because it's got spell check and stuff too. This program is more of an input and you don't really want to be typing in it. So now the one thing we're missing is a global ID zone because we didn't add one. So what we need to do is we need to save this. We're going to close it and go back in the editor and say we want the truck to be delivered to this house. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another zone and we can name it truck deliv or del underscore unload enter. So now we've named it. This is where you would put a couple of your icons in and name the task as well. We're not going to do that right now, but you guys know the idea from earlier. So we're going to go back to our zone settings. We're going to objective settings, tasks, open up the save the truck task, back into the stages and we had to fill in the one that was in the truck delivery. So we're going to open that right back up and we need global ID zone. So now we're going to drop that menu down and we have truck Dell unload. So now it knows where we need to take the truck. That means that mission's done. Sort of that stage mark, sorry. So we'll close the stage. We're going to go down. We don't want to block it with anything. We need rewards because you can't have a task without rewards at the end or it'll give you an error. So we'll do experience and money again and say a thousand for experience and a thousand dollars for a money reward. And then because it's a task and not a contract, oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. I forgot to add the other zone as well because it's not a contract. So again, if we want it, we could put the task giver zone anywhere say we want it at the farm so that you find this task while you're picking up some food so all we do is we put our task down doesn't matter which way it points if it's not a spawn ID is going to be truck Dell underscore task and then again, we can put our icons and the name of the task in there. I'm not going to do it to save time, but you want to do that to every single one. We're going to save it because we added zones. Open up the zone editor. We're going to open up objectives, task setting, go down to save the truck. And we needed the task giver zone. So we're going to double click. We're going to look for truck Dell task. All right. So that is both missions set up. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll load it up in game and we'll give these a try and we'll see if everything worked. Okay guys, we're in the game now. So you can see this lovely little setup in game. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the food mission delivery first so I put the wrong emblem in there as you can see so show task can you get some food for us it's perfect exactly what we wrote now that we've accepted it you can see the unload zone show up there let's go try out our food loading area so we're just going to load up and I just made it to cargo just because it was easier to put. And you can see, sorry, the task, the other task there. Uh, it was easier to load up and do this quickly. So we're good. Loaded properly. And this is, you'll do this with every single mission you make up in game. You're going to want to run through and test and make sure it works. But we should be able to run over to the unload area. And we'll see if we get the right prompt when we finish the task. One, two. Thanks for getting it done quickly. There you go. Got our right delivery done. So now we're going to switch over to the load starter and we'll go try out the truck repair task. 
I just threw this truck in real quick because it has the service body add-on. It should be able to complete that other mission. So we want to find the task box, which we drove through. We know it's right here. We'll stop in the task. Can you fix the truck and get it back for us? We're going to accept. Start tracking. So you can see the truck is completely broken. And the first thing we have to do is, or we could do it in either order, but we'll fix it up first. Make sure everything works. Oh, we don't have any wheels, do we? So this is a nice part with the dev tools. I don't know if this has wheel repair with it. I thought it did. Either or. Okay, so I don't have a wheel repair on it right now. And you can see that our unload area is working, so I'm just going to drag it over quick rather than waste more time trying to repair it. You guys have all seen it and done it many times. We know it works because it's labeled up on the top right hand of the screen, which means it's been input correctly, and we should get the first part of the task done here. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Hopefully this helps anyone out starting. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because uh, I'll always up to try and answer anyone's pro problems or issues. Just wanted to put it out there again that I've started a Patreon. So if anyone's looking for some early access to any maps I'm working on, help from me anytime and just wants to help me keep this thing going making videos and pumping out maps for you guys i would love to have anyone as a member that wants to come and join i i've been posting a lot of stuff that you will not find out anywhere else so just come on by check the link below i'd love to have you as a member thanks a lot guys